Hello everybody and welcome to this month's mail unboxing. In today's video I am going to be opening all the mail that I got in my P.O. box for the month of July. Uh, I have some really lovely things to share and a surprise that I just got yesterday and I can't wait to share it with you so let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm sharing here is this beautiful envelope and this is actually from my very good friend Kim. She likes to send things to my P.O. box because she knows that I love to get things in my P.O. box. It's just a little bit more special but her and I are very close friends and um, we send mail to each other all the time but she decided to send me some new things that she just got in at her um, with her new she just got um, uploaded sorry <laughs> into her Etsy shop um, she is also a vintage paper seller as well and she just got a bunch of new railroad stuff so I wanted to share that with you because a it came to my PO box and B I would love for you guys to be introduced to another vintage paper seller I purchase from Kim all the time so I am um, a huge fan of the things that she finds the quality is really lovely and she's just fantastic. I just love her. So this envelope is beautiful. <laughs> We've got some Western Maryland Railway stickers. So the theme is definitely rail uh, railroad related. Got some pretty yellow Denison tags. I love these. These are always really fun to use and because they're small, they're really easy to use. And then we've got this lovely card. I love railroad memorabilia. I just think it's so nostalgic and I hope to one day be able to take a nice railroad trip. Ooh, this is a really pretty letterhead with the um, lines. It's really fun because this is for the Western Maryland Railroad, a lot of this stuff. I grew up in Maryland, so this is really fun being able to see these things, but we've got some train tickets which are really pretty. I love the size of these. And then we've got some tags. These are also Denison as well, which are just absolutely delicious. These are really pretty too. Ooh, man, I really, really like these. Ooh, wow, these are really pretty. Ooh, look at the stamp on that. This is so pretty. I love this stuff. I am still like, <laughs> even though I play with vintage paper all the time, I still just love getting it too. This is really pretty. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to play with those a little bit more. I will link Kim's Etsy shop down below so that you can find it a little bit easier if you guys are interested in seeing some of the things that she has. I am, like I said, I am a customer of hers, so I love what she has. But let's go ahead and move on to Miss Emily's letter here. Love the airmail, love the stamping. It's just really fun. And I recognize a lot of this stuff from a Patreon kit. So I love being able to see things that go out in kits and then they come back. That's always really fun. I love seeing how people use things. Ooh, look how pretty this is. Ooh, this is clever. Oh, sorry. Getting a text message. But I really want to see what's in this. Oh my gosh, look how cute. She made a little pocket. Oh, I love this. Oh, look at those. Oh, this is fun. I love how she made this little pocket here. This little matte print is really, really pretty. I love the colors there. I love this. I love this lighthouse too. This is really pretty. Oh, it's a joker too. <laughs> I love seeing what you guys find out in the wild. Oh, I like the green on that. That's pretty. We've got a label, another label. These are the colors are really nice and an old check. These are so cool, Emily. I love the colors on these. Ooh, I like that one a lot. This envelope is pretty too. I like the color. And then let's see. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. 
Look, it's a map of hotels. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest. If you guys are new here or don't know, I love collecting um, historic hotel letterhead and anything to do with historic hotels. I, I am just obsessed and this is the coolest. This is the coolest. I can't even. And there's pictures and the font and the colors. I'm going to have to figure out a way to frame that because that is really, really cool. <laughs> Emily, this is incredible. I'm blown away by this. I am so thankful that you decided to gift these to me. Thank you so much. You know I will appreciate these so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Next we have Brianna and I actually found Brianna's June entry in my car this weekend. I guess I put it in my car and forgot to take it out with me when I got out. So I've got her June and July entries here and I haven't opened the July entry yet. Oh, I ripped it. Look how cute. Teeny little envelopes. <laughs> All right, so we've got a tea here. I love um, berry teas to stain with because they come out really, really pretty. We've got some pretty twine, some teeny tiny little envelopes. Ooh, we got some cute little stationery stickers. These are cute. They've got some gold foil on them. Oh, I like those. I'm gonna have to use these immediately. I don't even think I'm going to put those back. I'm just going to put those <laughs> right there because I'm going to use those immediately. <laughs> those are really cute. And let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, it's another teeny tiny envelope. <laughs> oh my God, what's in here? This is so fun. It's another little tiny thing. <laughs> oh, it's a sweet little note. This is You Are Good Enough. Wow, Brianna. That was really sweet. That was really special. I loved working for that. And then to get a sweet message after that was adorable. These envelopes are so cute. Ooh, look at this pretty card. Ooh, it's like a little mini postcard. Oh, that's fun. All right, so we've got her letter in here. Ooh, Brianna, have fun at Disney. That sounds like so much fun. We haven't been to Disney in a while, but to be honest, I mean, we really haven't had a huge desire to leave the house, but I hope that you have so much fun. I can't wait to hear all about it. So here is her June one, and I feel terrible because look at all these pretty flowers. You guys know how much I love flowers and flower prints, and this is right up my alley. I almost just want to print this, but it's a beautiful piece of stationery that I can't like waste, so I have to use it. I'm gonna use it. And then this envelope is really pretty too, and she's included some little bits in here. Oh, this is so fun. I'm so sad that I lost it in my car. Ooh, that's really pretty. That'd be pretty as a tip-in. I'm gonna use that immediately as well. And then I will probably recycle this envelope to use for this letter. And then we've got uh, Brianna's letter here as well. So I'm just gonna take a look at this. Oh my gosh, that's so funny, Brianna. Yes, the humidity here is oppressive. <laughs> that's how the weather described the humidity was that the humidity was oppressive and that is very true. The Florida humidity has finally arrived. It's been sort of creeping and the past two weeks have just been brutal. So we've got this really beautiful postcard from Karen. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. I love this postcard. Um, it's probably gonna be on my wall very soon because I just love, I just love this. And this is from Pen Paling Paula. So I'll leave her link down below if you're interested in finding that. This is from my good friend, Brooke. She sent me a letter from the world's largest mailbox in St. Louis, which is super, super fun. I'm really, really intrigued by that. She took a picture of it and posted it on her Instagram as well. And then she just included a sweet little note. 
Brooke um, is part of the Tampa Bay Letter Writers Group, and she's really, really sweet. And she does mail challenges as well. So I'll leave her information down below if you want to find her. And we have this big, big pa package from Petra, and I've just sliced it open. I haven't looked at it yet, but it's it's beautifully decorated. I love this sticker, and all these postage stamps are super fun. The decoration is just beyond. Um, we have some bus tickets. Let's see, these are cool. These are cool. Ooh, these are fun. I like the little holographic there. And then some kitty cat stamps. Ooh, I like that building. These are pretty. I love stamps. I just love them. Ooh, here's, look, she's decorated this whole thing. Let's see if I can slide it off so I can recycle that. And I don't want to rip this, but I definitely want to recycle that as well. I love how she's decorated that. That's just really pretty. All right, let's see what we've got. This is her letter. I'm gonna put that over here because we've got some pretty envelopes. I love these. The texture is like, I don't know. I can't even describe it. That's really, really, really nice. Um, let's see what we have here. Oh, she's got some forms in here. Let's see. Oh, guys, look, it's hotel stationery. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how cool this is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait to include this. Oh man, thank you so much Petra. I cannot wait to include this. There's a little note that's explaining how she came to get them. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. All right, so this is a Croatian Pension Insurance Institute form, Croatian Railways. Oh my gosh, you guys know how I feel about forms. <laughs> this is so fun. I love these notes. I love this, this is so fun. Um, waste disposal form, totally unromantic, but the colors are lovely. Let's see about that. You know what's great is that um, none of us, no, nobody that ever reads my journals here will be able to read this language, so it's going to be just fine for me to use it, I think. And you're right, the colors are really delicious. That just screams Easter, doesn't it? Oh gosh, okay. Bank payment form from the 90s. But this feels nice. So pretty. I think these are meant to be carbon too. That's really pretty. Ooh, look at the pink there. Health insurance form again. I don't know where you found all these, but these are fun. Look at that, it looks like an old blueprint, especially with the carbon. Ooh, green. Ooh, that's pretty. And the last one, another insurance form. Again, look at the colors. Oh my goodness. Ooh, these are delicious. Ooh. Those are delicious, Petra. That was the most satisfying thing ever. I cannot wait to play with those. That was absolutely incredible. <laughs> I wonder if there's different colors on these. I don't know if I looked. No, none there. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just read her note really quickly. Oh my gosh, Petra, that was really sweet. So she basically explained that she found these forms and the stationery while organizing and and trying to clean out some space and I think that's awesome I am very happy to take these really beautiful things off of your hands and to be able to share and use them as well I'm very excited and I love how you decorated this this is just such a treat I'm really 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 excited to play with these 
All right, the last thing we have is this mystery box, which I got on the 31st, very last day of the month. And I absolutely love this paper. I have some of this, of this paper and I've used it on a couple of projects um, with some traveler's notebooks, but I, I just love it. The paper is beautiful. It's a paper from um, a scrapbooking line, I think. I don't want to say, I think it was Maggie Holmes, um, but the twine that she has used matches perfectly this, this paper. And I'm really inspired not only to recycle this twine, but to pull out some of this paper and do something with it as well. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, let's read this note. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, okay, so this was made by Mai, that's her name, and she shares a really beautiful story. It's um, I'm going to keep that story to myself because that was really special, and um, I don't deserve you. <laughs> um, that was really, really sweet what she had to say, and I'm really excited to get into this. I almost feel like I shouldn't, um, but I'm also very intrigued to see what we've got in here. Your name is beautiful, by the way. I just have to say that. All right, so we've got some labels, it looks like. I love that she's recycling the packaging here. Some pretty little labels. You guys know how I feel about labels. I can never have enough. And then we've got some little vellum tearaways with some botanicals. That's always really pretty to have. We've got, uh, I'm not sure here, hold on. I think it's, vellum. Ooh, okay, so they're vellum, but they look like little mini ledgers. These are pretty and they're printed white. So like they're super ultra delicate. And there's flowers on them as well. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be fun. There's several different designs in here. These are fun. Gosh, those are pretty. Those are so delicate. I haven't seen those before, so I'm really excited to play with those. And what I love is that she's included enough for me to share, which you guys know I love to do. Okay, so there's quite a bit in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Got some labels. It looks like she has included some Tim Holtz. Looks like she's fussy cut some of those stamps from that paper that I absolutely love. Oh my goodness. What a treat. Look at all of this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. This is incredible, first of all. That isn't so much in that teeny tiny little envelope, but I'm very excited to share that. There's a lot there and I love to share <laughs> and there's no way I could use all of that. Oh gosh, okay. Let's get everything in without hurting everybody. All right, ooh, we've got this cute little pocket here. That's pretty. Ooh, these are pretty, look at those. Oh, two different designs here. Super pretty. I could see stamping a pretty floral in there. Those are really pretty. I love these little note papers. Ooh, those are pretty. Look at those cute little animals. Oh my gosh. Feeling a little overwhelmed. This is all really sweet. I don't feel like I'm worthy of this. Ooh, here's some Japanese stationery. I actually just ran out of this recently. This is really pretty. This paper is super delicate and it loves to be in the typewriter. I wouldn't say it loves fountain pens so much, but it, it does love gel pen. Gel pen looks really good on it, and it loves to be on the typewriter. These are really beautiful. 
Oh, I can't believe I have more. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed and very spoiled. I am not worthy. Oh, this okay, hold on. I need to slow down. <laughs> Oh, we have more vellum. Oh, I love vellum. It's just so delicate. And the florals are so pretty in that label. Ooh, it just checks all the boxes. So we've got some washi floral stickers, which you guys know I love. We've got some frames. Oh, that'll be fun. Ooh, that's all really fun. It's like a beautiful tasting of a bunch of different things, which I love. Look at these cute bird. Oh. Look at these postcards. Wow. Look how cool these are. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so the last thing, which I'm kind of freaking out a little bit because I'm seeing some florals and some Denison labels. I don't think I've ever seen this before, but I'm a little bit freaking out. Holy moly, this is the coolest tape I've ever seen in my life. I have to know where this came from immediately. I need more of this. I don't think it's repeated itself yet either. This is all... Oh my... Oh my gosh. All right, so this is hands down the best tape I've ever seen. And if like I was turned into a washi tape, this is what I would look like. <laughs> Vintage florals and Denison labels. I have never seen myself epitomized in a craft supply so thoroughly and purely as I have with this tape. My, I don't know what to say. I'm completely overwhelmed um, and grateful and blown away and just absolutely sucker punched. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I don't deserve this. I'm not worthy. Um, thank you so much. I just think with a gift this beautiful, it deserves um, a response back personally. So... I'm going to try my best to do something as sweet and special for you and um, try to return the favor. <laughs> I have your address from the original package that you sent it in, which also I loved because she used a recycled envelope. And yeah, this is, this is so beautiful. I mean, everything that I have gotten is just absolutely breathtaking and I'm so thankful for all of you and I'm completely humbled and blown away and I I just don't deserve you so <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do the monthly giveaway let me go ahead and write down the names and then we'll get started all right we got the names here Brooke Karen Petra my, I've got two Brianna's, one for June's entry and one for July because I totally didn't <laughs> um, take it out of my car and include it last month. So I'm just going to add her in for this month. Again, I just want to thank everybody that participated. It is always so fun to do these videos at the end of the month and to be able to share with you and inspire you and show you what everybody else is doing creatively with the mail that they're making but this is just so much fun I really had a good time and I don't really know how I'm going to continue with the day because I just feel super overwhelmed emotionally and <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to go take a sit and just accept the love that was just bestowed upon me all right, so I'm standing now, but I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes and choose a winner. Just want to make sure everybody is here. Right. Let's 
Let's go. Sorry, I'm doing this forever because I kind of feel... Brianna! Awesome! Awesome! I, gosh, I really apologize, Brianna, because I totally didn't include you last month, and your name just kind of stuck to my finger, so I felt like that worked out perfectly. Um... I will get something in the mail for you right away. Thank you so much for participating every month like you do. You always participate and it always makes me feel super special to hear about your life and everything going on. Um, but yeah, thank you so much again to everybody who participated. It really has been fun. Um, I think since, honestly, there really wasn't that many people that participated. I might send something out to everybody. <laughs> Maybe something small, something out to everybody, but, um, I'll do something just a little bit extra for, um, Brianna. But anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will catch you guys later. Bye.